prepare yourself for some probing comedy as TBS whips up the most shocking and explosively funny commercials of 2009. Join us in our countdown to the funniest commercials of the year with Kevin Nealon and special guest Fred Willard. It all begins right now. First, there was sport. <laughs> then, there was betting. Next came the internet. Now, if you love sports, betting on things, and the internet, there's sportbet.com.au for people who like to bet on the net. From New York City, it's the funniest commercials of the year, 2009. Uncle Les. Kevin, my boy, how's my favorite nephew? Come on in, have a seat. Good to uh, see you. How's the old family? Give me a hug. Hey, ah. So what brings you to New York? Not running from the law again, I hope. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I'm actually here. I'm hosting the funniest commercials of the year, 2009. Great. What a fantastic show. I mm, love watching it you every year while you round up the world's funniest commercials. Only one thing bothers me. How come you never use any of my ads? Yeah, well, about that, Les. Uh, I don't choose the ads. I'm just the host. Uh, You're just the Vanna White, just yeah. the sexy window no, dressing, uh, who never no. gets to spin the wheel. No, not well, really. I'll tell you, I'm frankly, not, I would done. like to buy a vowel. I would like some of your professional advice as to just what makes a really funny commercial. I probably should have thought of this before I went into business. What do you say? <laughs> I would have had a good idea. Um, but seriously, with so much paperwork, who has the time? I Let's know get it. to the point. Let me find out what you think. Let me pick your brains. I would love for you to pick my brains, mm -hmm. but just leave a little for me, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> all right, well, let's get started by checking out a few really great spots to see what works. Basically, it's about symmetry. I'm good. Be honest here, I mean. Ah, fuck it. I'm good. My bad. I'm good. I'm the man! I'm good. Ready? No. Men can take anything. I'm good. Except the taste of Diet Cola. Until now, Pepsi Max, the first Diet Cola for men. This is good. I am so, so sorry. Is he bothering you? No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Is he yours? Yeah, he's my first mate. Where, Where did you get them? I rescued them from a shelter. Oh, you did that? Get the lab. Guys never change. Neither do we. Jim Beam. The bourbon since 1795. Unit 62 responding. That's a Raj. We are the public face of the police department, and uh, we try to um, interact with the community. Sir, sir, excuse me. Hey, how many dudes you know roll like this? How many dudes you know flow like this? Not many, if any. How many dudes you know got to give a rock a show like this? Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Check, check to the mic, check to one, two, three. Coming through with your hype yet. Now there's a plenty for the tour. Check it out. You know, a lot of things we're doing out here, we're protecting people, we're serving people, and we're protecting people from themselves. That's right. How many dudes you know got skin going on this show like this? Next time you come on down to no It's so we don't go looking for trouble. It's so good when you come down to my hood and somehow trouble always seems to find us. Congratulations.
embarqué dans un camion de livraison. Et puis j'atterris ici. Oh, c'est incroyable. Hein T'entends ça, chérie Ben oui, c'est fou. Wow, great story. And I heard there was a sequel that very next afternoon. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I'm gonna level with you, Kevin. All right. This ad agency is in big trouble. No, I had not noticed that. But it's true. What we have to do is come up with funnier commercials, and I don't just mean pretty good ads. I mean ads that are so doggone funny that your sense of humor will feel like it got a happy ending from a rubber chicken. What do you got in mind? Well, this is our best new concept. It's big, it's smart, it's edgy, it's mimes. Mimes. That's, that's good, that would be funny. Yeah. If you're French and demented. Hey, Lonnie. What's with the chimps? Mm, they're grease monkeys. I love them. Yeah. I bought a case of Castrol Edge and they just showed up. Made me their king. Wow. It's a new advanced synthetic. Nothing beats it in wear protection, not even Mobile One. Strange days. Strange days indeed. New Castrol Edge. With eight times better wear protection than Mobile One 5W30, it's more than just oil, it's liquid engineering. Speak. Speak. That's it. Not bad, huh? Not too heavy, not too light. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. Here's your beer. Thanks. She's so pretty. It's interesting how a lot of commercials are about violence, people getting beat up or sex or... Did you want to show me something? Yes, I took your advice and got rid of the mimes. They were funny on paper, but in person not too smart. I think one of them is still stuck in a box. <laughs> but it's all for the best because I came up with something even funnier. Yeah, what do you got? <laughs> wow, that could only be better if they juggled the chainsaw and the little guy at the same time. That is genius. Okay, boys, fire up. Our next sponsor. Let's begin our countdown to the funniest commercial of the year. The spots you voted for at VeryFunnyAds.com. Coming in at number 10. I'm a man. And I smell like a man. But sometimes I like to smell like a different smelling man. Point is, men need a variety of scents. So Old Spice makes a variety of scents. But I don't use them. Because I'm a woman. Just kidding. I'm not a woman. I use all of them. Because I'm a man. Number nine. My wife and I couldn't control our antiquing. Porcelain figurines, oil lamps, those tiny spoons. Antiquing took over our lives. So I tried Viagra, and now my antiquing is pretty much gone. Number
next up. You can run, but you can't hide from the funniest commercials of the year as our Top 10 Countdown continues. Share these commercials with your friends. Go to VeryFunnyAds.com where you can also check out our bonus spots. Stick around. Welcome back. Here now, the spot you voted the funniest commercial of the year back in 2007. Nothing could stop the forest fire. <sighs> Except maybe a miracle. <laughs> and oh, how the people rejoice. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about global warming anymore, huh? Gee, that shipment was cute, even when he was letting one go. And you can't really say that about most people, can you? Well, you know, Les, I haven't recently but thought about... But any sweet little dog or cat, maybe not so much a cow or an elk, but any small animal just farting itself senseless. It's just cute as the dickens. You know, animals do have a lot to offer. Let's take a look. on toast. Who could say no to something that tasty? New Lolo Mature Cheese. It's simply irresistible. And what's more, it's made with semi-skimmed milk, so it has a third less fat than regular cheddar. Lolo, all the taste, a third less fat. It's the ultimate cheese. We have asked a real meat lover to taste tulip liver pate with 30% less fat. Is it me now? Yes, now you just tell me how it tastes. Uh, I think it tastes... Now there's a red button that keeps blinking on the camera. Is it supposed to do that? Yes, it is. Well, OK. Uh, I think it tastes good. Should I look at you or should I look straight into the camera? Look at me. Look at me. Or at you, of course. Right. Yeah. I, I forgot what you asked me about. Could you please ask me again, please? Can you taste it contains less fat? Yes. I think it tastes good. Now I look straight into the camera. Now you can't use it. F*** it. Yes. Tulip liver pate with 30% less fat tastes really good. I said I was sorry. I said sorry. But you know how I am. So it's kind of a little bit your fault, too. <laughs> Who wants a cracker? <laughs> You're sick, Paul. I think we're gonna need stitches. I've had a burning sensation in my urinary tract, but nothing that serious. Well, that's nothing a little penicillin wouldn't clear up. That's good to know. Okay, Kevin, I get the violence angle. I understand the animal thing, but now I'm ready for some sex. And I've set up a casting session with some smoking hot chicks. Ah, now you're starting to get the formula, Les. No, no, these girls work here. Sorry, ladies, carry on. Here's what I'm talking about. Ready? Ladies, have either of you ever heard of the casting couch? 
Okay, I didn't see that coming. But you know what? A lot of guys don't see things coming. Take a look. Not everyone likes surprises. Honey? So count on Mr. Sub, a Canadian classic for over 40 years. The way I see it, all synthetic oils are the same. Oh, think with your dipstick, Jimmy! Aren't all synthetic oils the same? Think with your dipstick, Jimmy! Synthetics or synthetics? Castrol Edge. I'm gonna try this. Oh, now that's thinking with your dipstick! So why did you hit me? Because you were thinking with your dipstick! Jimmy! Think with your dipstick. Upgrade to Castrol Edge. With eight times better wear protection than Mobile One 5W30. It's more than just oil, it's liquid engineering. Obviously, that guy's down a court. <laughs> okay, Les, now I'm starting to realize why you're not getting any work done around here. Oh, that tickles. Kevin, be a good sport and close the door, will you? A little more there, harder. Ah. Speaking of good sports, take a look at these next spots. Three balls and a strike to count to Brent Johnson. One out, top of the seventh inning. Fresno two, Tacoma one. Santos in a jam. That swung on and driven deep down the left field line toward the corner, and this ball is going to be... Oh, it's caught! It's not Jake Wald. It's the ball girl who makes the catch. She just sort of tosses him the ball, saying, take that, Jake. When performance counts, it takes more than water. Oh, my! What an amazing play. And now look at her, sitting there saying, no big deal. Olympics, the best of the best, who's the fastest, who's the strongest, who cares? Let's watch these guys. What you just witnessed was borderline talent, not actual talent. Upload yours at scoff.co.nz and you could win this bad boy. I gotta be honest with you, it's gotta be really difficult to put the spin on the ball with that technique. No, Les, Les, don't go there. Don't even think about it. Back to our countdown to the funniest commercial of the year. Coming in at number seven. Number six.
still to come. You're fired! Orgasmic comedy meets musical mayhem as we continue our countdown to the funniest commercial of the year, 2009. Welcome back. Here now, some classic spots. If you don't watch a lot of movies, you may never learn certain valuable skills. What are we gonna do with it? Like how to dispose of a body. Take the shoes off. Yeah. But if you watched a lot of movies, you'd know. What do we do now? Let's go eat. You gotta touch me every time you talk to me. Rent as many TV episodes and movies as you want for only nine bucks a month. Das hier ist mein Sektor. Das hier ist das wichtigste Gerät des Küstenwächter. Das Gerät und das Gerät. Überlebensradar. Mayday, Mayday. Hello, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you... Okay, over. We are sinking. We are sinking. Hello? This is the German Coast Guard. What are you thinking about? Okay, Kevin, here's an idea I have. It's called a focus group. Now, the idea is, um, girls, could you stop the bouncing? It's a little distracting. Just hold it down. The idea is to get everyone to focus on some funny yeah. idea. Yeah. All right, here we go. Death. <laughs> No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm distracted. So, uh, I don't think anybody wants to focus on the death no. thing. No. Well, I want to so, focus. We've got to... Um, okay. Uh, Les, don't focus down there. Oh. And speaking of down there, the funniest commercials come from down under, Australia. Give a look, Mike. They're just naughty girls. They won't listen. Kevin, can we go for a coffee? You're fired! I love you. I've said it. We need to fake your death. You have a wonderful body. I made a sculpture of you. You'll be based in North Korea. <laughs> Juan. Come, Sumni Dar. Kevin. Kevin. Hey, why don't we go grab a dare iced coffee? If you like that spot, then 10 to 1, you're going to love these next spots. You two are getting some great cards. Looks to me like Lady Luck just left. With my pants. <laughs> I'm just glad they're not playing Twister. Enjoy. So what's that red thing outside, huh? It's the new polo. Polo? It's cool, isn't it? Oh. Cool? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to see about that. The following film may contain scenes of sexuality. Or scenes that make you question your own sexuality. Or the sexuality of the person who recommended the movie. Mm. Or sexuality altogether. And it may involve an animal. An open mind is advised.
New Axe Day and Axe Night. One is suitable for general audiences, the other one is not. Do you think that last set of feet were, you know, faking it? Well, if she was, I hope she feels like a heel. <laughs> a little joke. It was little. Uh, you know what's the problem? I'm starving. Why don't we go out and get something to eat? Better idea yet. Why don't I go? I'll get some takeout. I know a great deli. You stay here. Focus on these next pounds. All right. And pick up a couple of hard-boiled eggs. Back to our countdown. Funniest commercial of the year. Coming in at number five. new poo poo pouch nappies can handle a poo explosion or number threes as we politely call it number four and now we're back in the living room and now bedroom wow. and Next up, Shatner. The language of the deal. Conan. Nobody started. And rabbit chinchillas. Ah! Plus, more of our top 10 countdown when the funniest commercials of the year 2009 returns. And don't forget to share the funny. Go to VeryFunnyAds.com. And while you're there, check out the spots that were too hot for TV. Welcome back. Here now, the funniest commercial of the year from 2006. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me, lose my mind, imagine how the world could be, so very fine, so happy together, so happy together. That was John and Kate before things got ugly. Hello, and welcome to my cab. My name's Frank. Where can I take you to today? Oh, wow, you must be new to New York. <laughs> Do you know how to get to Carnegie Deli? Well, I may be new to the Big Apple, but even I know that one. Location, location, location. I think you mean practice, 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 and that's Carnegie Hall. You know, I think you're right, and that makes more sense. <laughs> that's pretty funny. You should be a comedian. You're not going to bottle this one now, are you, Ed? Oh, no, I'm all over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm at the meetings. I'm...
his every word, even the prepositions. He could disarm you with his looks or his hands. Either way, he can speak French in Russian. He is the most interesting man in the world. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs> so how do you like the big city, Frank? Oh, I love all the big, tall buildings. Everybody has time to stop and say something to you. I like that. Hey, that's Hey, man, how are you doing? <laughs> Real friendly. He didn't have to do that. That's just nice. Are you sure you're going the right way to Carnegie Deli? This doesn't look like Seventh Avenue. Look, this is my GPS. Can you take a look at that? This is the map of the United States, Frank. I think New York is in the United States, isn't it? This is awkward. Just like these next spots. Take a look. I hear what you're saying. I just don't do commercials. It's not my thing. Conan, this is different. It's a ton of money, and it's only going to be seen in Sweden. Only in Sweden? All the Hollywood guys do this. This one commercial couldn't hurt. Bud Light. That wasn't me. Hey, Conan. Vroom, vroom, body starter. Body starter. I knew it, man. You knew what? I told you not to eat the Skittles from my hourglass. I mean, look at me, man. You're speeding up time. How many did you eat? Like two, three. I just sit down. I told you. Mm -hmm. Say what? Warp the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Can you take a moment? Can you take a of one of my kids. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cancun, spring break 99. What? No. No. Oh. Oops! Someone forgot to boost. Excuse me? I think you're the father of one of my kids. Oh, my daughter's in your art class. Sister Mary Catherine. Yeah. Minute Maid enhanced with a five nutrient boost. Put good in, get good out. See, that's why you want to homeschool your kids. What's that smell? Probably my Uncle Les's hard-boiled eggs. There are more interesting smells in this city. And look at that. Now, there's a guy sleeping out under the stars on the sidewalk. People love to camp in this city. You no, know, he's not really camping, Frank. And the other thing, everybody here has a job. Like that fellow there digging through that trash can, I see his coworkers all over the city. Well, you know, not all jobs are that glamorous, Frank, as you'll see in these next spots. Right, Mr. Burnley, sorry to keep you waiting. So what I'm going to have you do is just stand up <clears throat> and just relax. Who is that? He's just observing. Okay. Scott, no. I thought we were going to do this together. No, we're not. Okay. Until there's Take Your Friend to Work Day, there's career mapping, created to help you explore new career paths. Only at Monster.com.
We are Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. Name? Ron Martinez. Welcome. And my condolences. Mm-hmm. Uh. It's odd. There seem to be a few weekends missing. In this economy, we just can't afford a vacation. I can help, but you must say exactly what I say, exactly how I say it. Honey, honey, I've just got a... I just got a great deal on a four-star hotel at Priceline. There's never been a better time to... Name your own price. And save up to half off. Sweet lips. We can afford that. But why are you speaking that way? I guess I'm just speaking the language of the deal. Wow. I wonder if you could name your own price for restraining order on William Shatner. That would be nine and a quarter. Oh. Back to our top ten countdown. Coming in at number three. Let's observe the effect of Evian on your body. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rocking to the beat. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. See, I am Wonder Mike, and I'd like to say hello. Number two. Hey, boss. I want to let you know I'm going to be off on Monday. I never heard of Chinchilli Day. Sure you have. It's called the Revolution de Chinchilla. It was when the pet chinchillas of a tiny Pueblo town rose up against the people. For three bloody days, the fighting continued. My people were able to hold back the chinchillas. Until finally, the last was gone. Every year, my people celebrate the victory over the revolt. And how do you celebrate? Three days in Vegas. It's a cultural obligation. Happy Chinchilli Day. You too, boss. When we return, the funniest commercial of the year. Stick around. Welcome back. Here now, the funniest commercial from 2008. Hey, Dave, the day's over. Time for Bud Light. I can't. I have to cut the cheese. I thought you cut the cheese already. It wasn't me. I heard you cut the cheese this morning. I like to cut the cheese in spurts throughout the day. You should cut the cheese first thing in the morning like me. Otherwise, it starts backing up. I couldn't. My girlfriend was here this morning, and you know how that goes. I cut the cheese in front of my girl once. I never heard the end of it. You ever see a woman cut the cheese? Nah, they don't do it right. They're too delicate. My grandmother cut the cheese all the time, especially as she got older. Hey, guys, I'm going to be in the back. I'm going to pinch a loaf. <coughs> Want me to pull your finger? Will you pulling my finger help me cut the cheese? Oh, yeah. If I pull your finger, you'll be cutting the cheese within seconds. Oh, yeah. I have to run. Got to drop the kids off at the pool. You know, Uncle Les, after watching all these spots, I hope you got a better idea of what makes a funny commercial. Oh. You know, how to let it rip with a comedy. I do, and I got to say, this has just been a gas. You're a good egg, Kevin. But let me ask you this. There were so many funny spots. How do you decide which one was the funniest one? Oh, oh I don't. I don't decide. People vote, and they decide. In fact, here's what they've decided today. A recap of our top 10 countdown so far. 
Number 10. I'm a man. And I smell like a man. But sometimes I like to smell like a different smelling man. Number 9. Antiquing took over our lives. So I tried Viagra, and now my antiquing is pretty much gone. Number 8. Number seven. Number six. Number five. Number four. <laughs> Number three. A voice within a rock, two friends above. And next on the mic is my man Hank. Come on, come and see that song. Number two. I never heard of Chinchilla Day. Sure you have. It's called La Revolution de Chinchilla. It was when the pet chinchillas of a tiny Pueblo town rose up against the people. Look, I told you we're not hiring. Ah, Lou Dobbs again. Hmm. Well, Uncle Les, I got to take off, but it's great seeing you again. Kind of like a family reunion, mm -hmm. huh? But without the crowds yeah. and the riffraff. <laughs> Before I go, I want you to check out one more spot. Really? Is it funny? It is funny. In fact, you could say it's the funniest commercial of the year because that's exactly what it is. The funniest commercial of the year, 2009. Check it out. Today we're out finding out what type of holes people prefer. Donut holes or Hardy's new biscuit holes? B-hole. Yeah. The B-hole has it over the A-hole for sure. Why? What do you like about it? The A-hole seems kind of small. It's great. I just don't like the A-holes. B-holes are tasty and flavorful. The A-hole is nasty. A-hole tastes funny. I guess I'm just kind of a B-hole kind of guy. Introducing biscuit holes with icing. The best kind of holes money can buy. New at Hardee's. <laughs> that was a great spot. Congratulations to Hardee's for making great bee holes. Hello, my name is Yuri. Where I can take you today? I think I'll walk. Good night, everybody. Is it funny? Uh, oh, is it funny? I, that's what I said. Oh. Costello, that's what I said. Isn't it funny? <laughs> right. You ever put one of these up your nose, Les? I have done other things with it. Where I come from, a joke can last as long as two or three hours. You just keep, you just go and you go. Where did you get this? That was a gift uh, to me from a person I golf with. Um, we would go out and hunt those. Don't forget to share some of tonight's spots with your friends. Go to VeryFunnyAds.com, where you'll also find more funny commercials from around the world.